Hey everybody, Texas Shrugged. I want to play you a few clips of this video from the Mike Helmick channel. And I will leave a link if you want to go give him a thumbs up for his good work. And I'll put that in the description. But this is jaw-dropping. It's absolutely amazing. There's nothing else we need to see, folks. Meaning, if this is real, and it's what we're looking at is CGI, it's not real. That's what Mike's saying. But when I say if this is real, I'm saying if this is what they really tried to pass off to us, if this is really what the International Space Station gave us, or NASA and the European Space Agency, then all of space now is proven, 100% proven, to be a hoax. Because if one element of the story breaks down, then everything else breaks down. There is no foundation for any of it, right back through the Apollo missions. Now, to most of us, the Apollo missions were an obvious hoax. You don't do something 50 years ago, and then you just don't do it for 50 years as the technology gets better. Nobody's been back to the moon. I don't want to stray. The fact that we're pushing 50 years and no one's been back, I mean, by itself proves no one ever went. But this, this is remarkable. So I'm going to show you, I'll give you more detail later, but basically to set this clip up, the hat the guy's holding doesn't exist. It's like double layer green screen or fake animated objects layered on top of a real video clip. However, through um, virtual reality, the astronauts, whatever you want to call them, can see the objects. So he knows how to grab the hat. I'll show that to you. Just for now, know that the guy on the right there is grabbing a hat the hat does not exist however here's what's so interesting the guy on the left in green also has an object that he puts away and it never shows up never makes it onto the final cut hoax completely exposed i'll show this to you now and if you're not uh, completely on the floor or laughing too hard i will show you what this is all about in more detail it's being broadcast to him so he grabs it and he puts it off to the side he's looking straight ahead because he's looking at an object rotating in front of him but the video channel is down that is supposed to show the viewers <laughs> what we're supposed to see and so we don't actually get to see the object that he has seen and I would just sum this up as a very terrible bad horrible day for NASA doing live feeds oh. okay that's so, it's so monumental, as simple as it was. It's so big and so monumental. We need to look at that one more time. He basically, with his left hand, our right, his left hand, he grabs an object, and I'll show you later why he thinks it's there, grabs an object that obviously isn't there because it isn't there, and he puts it from his left hand transfers it to his right hand and then puts it up on the shelf but the object doesn't exist this hoax is now exposed therefore all of space by definition is now a proven hoax one more time this is monumental if mike is presenting this as a real clip from nasa or the european space agency which i can only assume it is I don't think Mike messed with this just to screw with us at 3,000 subscribers. Nevertheless, if it's this big of a deal, this should be researched. Is this the actual video that came from NASA or the European Space Agency? One more time. Carrying augmented uh, contact lenses so that they can interact with these 3D objects. Now, in this scene, the guy on the left in the green shirt, he thinks he sees an object in 3D space that's being broadcast to him. So he grabs it and he puts it off to the side. He's looking straight ahead because he's looking at an object rotating in front of him. But the video channel is down that is supposed to show the viewers what we're supposed to see. And so we don't actually get to see the object that he has seen. And I would just sum this up as a very terrible... Okay, Mike also shows us this wonderful piece from the ISS at 11.30. There we go. Become so blatantly obvious, it's ridiculous. So, in this clip, they're talking, live feed, and, we, you know, <laughs> we have a 
astronaut go by us in the, the background, uh, obviously trying to give it a more realistic, spacey, station, busy effect. The only problem is the camera that was supposed to mask this harness out or the uh, video feed is not working. <laughs> and so we see the guy come flying along in a harness on his wires. Pretty amazing. But that's not all that goes wrong here. Uh, folks, I, who could you possibly show that to that would find a way to rationalize it or use cognitive dissonance to justify it? Oh, many people will. It's, it's surprising what they can do if you show this to the fa your family and friends around you. Anyway, let me show you the, the key parts of this video. Um, 324. Oops. And it took extremely long amounts of time. In this video here uh, I made last year, I'm using Sony Vegas, and I was just playing around with the uh, masking capabilities of Sony Vegas. I don't even know why I saved this video. But here I'm standing in the kitchen, and I'm just lifting up this trash can to make it kind of look like it's floating. And I didn't do a lot of work on this. I, it was just something I wanted the to see. The point of this is simple. If this guy who's a nobody on his PC, it's in his bedroom, down by his bathroom, can float a trash can with this degree of skill, imagine what George Lucas can do. Imagine what Stanley Kubrick could have done or could do. And imagine what NASA and the government can do. Anything can be faked with 100% reality. I was going to say as of 2017, I'm sure they've been able to do this since 1990 or so. What's next? 420. Or classes. In this next segment, I'm going to show you how NASA grabs objects in 3D space, rotates them around, manipulates them, they can do that. Remember the guy in green who grabbed an imaginary object that never showed up on the final take and he put it on the shelf and there was nothing in his hand? Well, he's looking down through his virtual reality and he sees a real object. So say he was putting away this red square that was supposed to show up and look like a real object to us, but never made it this with water, with cloth, anything. And the cool thing about it is we can take what they're doing, what they're seeing with their contact virtual reality augmented lenses and put that on a separate video layer live. Yes, live. And do it all in real time. So I'm going to show you what it looks like to them as they're grabbing objects and manipulating them. And then I'm going to show you Microsoft's HoloSense. That's, so that, I'm going to just go back there. That's perfect. Um, the ball floats away, the person grabs it, the fake ball, with virtual reality that they can see, that if someone was in the room, couldn't see, but it's a real object should show up on the final video feed. Just like that guy did, he grabbed a fake object, tried to put it on a shelf, never showed up. Watch on the left. Live. Yes, live. And do it all in real time. So I'm going to show you what it looks like to them as they're grabbing objects and manipulating them. Floats, and then I'm going to show you it. Microsoft's HoloSense video. That's exactly video. what happened. All right, 203. Now this, you can't hear what she says here, but it's not important. I'll explain the point of this in a sec. And you will see the Thanks, same Mike. things that I saw. Let's watch. We have to introduce the concept of free fall. So let's use this model of the Earth. The globe's not there, and let's, in and other this words. The help of a friend, taxi. Now that so stuffed you know. animal materialized. This is extremely interesting. That caught my attention, and you will see the oh, same went back things too that far. I saw. One second. Let's watch. All right. Now, she's making a video, or she's talking to kids in this video, and they actually have a stuffed animal materialize in front of this woman on the ISS. So it's incredible. They're giving away that they have the capability to do this multi-layer green screen masking just to be cute, just to have a cute little segment for the kids. And the object materializes and then she grabs it and it even floats. Because it materializes, we know it's not really there with us. So she, they give it away, like, like the, 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 the magician emptying out his hat and showing you the inside and all the compartments. I mean, this is stupidity and stupidity in the extreme to give away what they're actually doing. Watch this. 
materializes from nothing and then it floats, not the globe, the stuffed animal. Boom. Floats. And it's right there with her. He goes back and he shows you again. Look at that. So what is significant about this video is number... Uh, it's just, it's incredible. Um, what else do we have? Do we have anything else? No, we don't. Folks, I've seen enough. Um, I'm not going to pretend anymore. Uh, you know, I, we've seen enough. It's all a big hoax. There's not one person on the earth that should even be able to see this video. My short segment clip from Mike Helmick that should be able to explain this away and even if they were able to rationalize this one there are now hundreds upon hundreds of videos showing mistakes in space impossible irregularities that could never happen it's just you only need to see five of them before the whole story doesn't add up and now we have hundreds come on man if I get any comments that space is real please justify it please tell me where in this video we're misinterpreting what they're showing us on the ISS. Till the next time, Texas shrugged.